Question 1. Which of the following anticoagulants acts by inhibiting thrombin directly? A. Heparin. B. Warfarin. C. Rivaroxaban. D. Dabigatrin. Answer is D. Dabigatrin. Question 2. What is the mechanism of action of heparin? A. Direct thrombin inhibition. B. Factor XA inhibition. C. Vitamin K antagonism. D. Platelet aggregation inhibition. Answer is A. Direct thrombin inhibition. Question 3. Which anticoagulant requires monitoring of international normalized ratio, INR? A. Heparin. B. Anoxaparin. C. Warfarin. D. Apixaban. Answer is C. Warfarin. Question 4. Which of the following drugs is a low molecular weight heparin? A. Fondaparinex. B. Warfarin. C. Dabigatrin. D. Anoxaparin. Answer is D. Anoxaparin. Question 5. What is the reversal agent for heparin? A. Protamine sulfate. B. Vitamin K. C. Idarusizumab. D. Andexanet alpha. Answer is A. Protamine sulfate. Question 6. Which of the following anticoagulants is contraindicated in patients with a history of heparin induced thrombocytopenia? A. Rivaroxaban. B. Warfarin. C. Anoxaparin. D. Argotrobin. Answer is C. Anoxaparin. Question 7. Which of the following anticoagulants is a direct oral anticoagulant, DOAC, acting by inhibiting factor XA? A. Heparin. B. Fondaparinex. C. Apixaban. D. Dabigatrin. Answer is C. Apixaban. Question 8. What is the antidote for warfarin toxicity? A. Vitamin K. B. Protamine sulfate. C. Idarusizumab. D. Andexanet alpha. Answer is A. Vitamin K. Question 9. Which anticoagulant is associated with a lower risk of intracranial hemorrhage compared to warfarin? A. Dabigatrin. B. Anoxaparin. C. Fondaparinex. D. Heparin. Answer is A. Dabigatrin. Question 10. What is the mechanism of action of Dabigatrin? A. Direct thrombin inhibition. B. Factor XA inhibition. C. Vitamin K antagonism. D. Platelet aggregation inhibition. Answer is A. Direct thrombin inhibition. Question 11. Which of the following anticoagulants is administered orally and does not require routine monitoring of coagulation parameters? A. Rivaroxaban. B. Heparin. C. Anoxaparin. D. Heparin. Answer is A. Rivaroxaban. Question 12. Which anticoagulant is commonly used for the prevention of venous thromboembolism, VTE, in orthopedic surgery patients? A. Fondaparinex. B. Warfarin. C. Anoxaparin. D. Dabigatrin. Answer is C. Anoxaparin. Question 13. What is the main adverse effect of heparin? A. Bleeding. B. Hypertension. C. Hyperkalemia. D. Hyperlipidemia. Answer is A. Bleeding. Question 14. Which of the following anticoagulants is administered subcutaneously? A. Warfarin. B. Apixaban. C. Rivaroxaban. D. Anoxaparin. Answer is D. 
Anoxaparin. Question 15. What is the mechanism of action of rivaroxaban? A. Direct thrombin inhibition. B. Factor XA inhibition. C. Vitamin K antagonism. D. Platelet aggregation inhibition. Answer is B. Factor XA inhibition. Question 16. Which anticoagulant is commonly used for the treatment of deep vein thrombosis, DVT? A. Fondoparinex. B. Warfarin. C. Heparin. D. Anoxaparin. Answer is D. Anoxaparin. Question 17. Which of the following anticoagulants is recommended for use in patients with nonvalvular atrial fibrillation? A. Anoxaparin. B. Fondoparinex. C. Warfarin. D. Dabigatrin. Answer is D. Dabigatrin. Question 18. What is the main adverse effect of warfarin? A. Bleeding. B. Hepatotoxicity. C. Renal toxicity. D. Myopathy. Answer is A. Bleeding. Question 19. Which of the following anticoagulants is contraindicated in patients with severe renal impairment, CRCL less than 15 milliliters per minute? A. Anoxaparin. B. Warfarin. C. Dabigatrin. D. Apixaban. Answer is C. Dabigatrin. Question 20. What is the mechanism of action of fondoparinex? A. Direct thrombin inhibition. B. Factor XA inhibition. C. Vitamin K antagonism. D. Platelet aggregation inhibition. Answer is B. Factor XA inhibition.